Hey, what's up guys? This morning, I headed out to my local Tim Hortons. I got my morning coffee. It's a uh, triple triple with milk and sweetener. Let's go ahead and take a big gulp. Mmm. Delicious. Tim Hortons, Canada's favorite coffee. All right guys, on to the video. Today we're talking about the all new Tim Hortons Dome lid, that's right, the all new design and just brought out dome lid. Apparently these dome lids were available downtown here in Toronto, Canada. Starting around uh, the middle of May-ish, I think around May 15th, something like that. And uh, the northern parts and eastern and western parts of the GTA has not uh, gotten them yet. And whenever I would go to my local Tim Hortons, customers there would always complain, Oh, how come you guys don't have the new dome lids yet? And the employees would respond, well, sir, that, you know, they're only available downtown and customers would be frustrated. So Tim Hortons obviously is hearing the complaints and, you know, and people's concerns and whatnot. And just now I noticed they're starting to bring out those new dome lids to the north of the city in North York here, Ontario, Canada, basically where I live. So I went to my local Tim Hortons just now, bought this coffee and also noticed they had a brand new dome lids there. Now, why didn't they give me a dome lid? Because they told me that they're currently only using the old soft flat lids just for now until they run out of supply in the store. Once these flat lids have run out of supply, then they'll switch back over to the new dome lids. So I said, okay, you have them. Can I please have it right now? Just, you know, to see it, to look at it. They told me, yes, of course, sir. So they gave me one, not only one, they actually gave me three of them. I got two medium and small size ones and one large and extra large size ones. So here they are. I got them right here. Okay. And they also gave me Sean Mendes cups. So I have here, I think, a large size and a medium size. Sean Mendes paper cups. They still had them. But again, there's no extra large Sean Mendes cups. So I had to get just medium and large. I looked for a small one as well, small size Sean Mendes cups. But apparently they're out of them now. So here now is the start of the video. The all new dome lids. This is the extra large and large size one. And these two here are the medium and small size ones. All right, wow. There they are. Wonderful. Let's go ahead now to a clip where I show you a close up of these dome lids. So here we have it guys. The all new dome lid from Tim Hortons. There's a front of it. There's a rear of it. All right, wonderful. And this, the flap opens up, goes right in that hole there. Folds right into it and opens up the hole, which is where you drink out of. Wonderful. So there you have it guys, take a close look at it. So now we're back, you guys got a good look at those dome lids close up and personal. I'm now going to go ahead and fill up these cups with some, you know, warm water and we're going to do a spill proof test on these dome lids. All right. So the extra large, the large one also goes to the large one and the medium and small one goes to the medium one. This would be extra, put it off to the side. Okay. So I'll go ahead now, fill up these cups full of water, and do a spill test. Two very boring minutes later. All right, guys, I'm back. I just went ahead and filled up these cups with water, warm water. Okay, they're filled up to about here, basically about where the coffee will be filled up to, all right? Let's go ahead and put the extra large lid on there, medium lid on there, okay. I'll push my coffee up to the side, take a big gulp again first. Mmm, delicious. All right. We'll go ahead now and get our towel here to do our spill proof test. So I basically got this plain white towel here. We'll double it up. There we go. Make it more absorbent. All right. There's the large cup, the medium cup. My coffee is here. So let's go ahead and now start off with the medium sized cup. 
So I have it here. I still haven't opened up the lid to pull yet. It's still brand new from Tim Hortons, just what they gave me. I got it, I haven't touched it yet, okay. So it's now fully on the cup. All right. So let's say I'm, you know, walking down the road and somebody bumps into my shoulder. Bam! What will happen? That kind of reaction will happen. And some water is coming through the hole. Okay. So that kind of fell a little bit. All right. Let's say now I wasn't holding the cup so well and it went sideways. What's going to happen? So now we can go like this sideways. It doesn't really spill out, no. Okay. How about the other way with the hole facing this way? Let's see. It spills out. So that's a fail. All right. How about if you swoosh around a lot? I'm getting a tad out of there, but not too much. And if it's hot coffee, a tad is still too much, obviously. It's going to burn you. So one of this hole. Okay, it goes into that groove there. And the hole's quite big. Take a sip out of it. See? I already got coffee, in this case water, on my shirt. Making my shirt dirty. So let's try that again. It could be the fact that I had water already in the lid, but let's try again. We'll dry it down a little bit here. And go again. Wipe the face off. Okay. Yep. No more spillage. So it's okay if your mouth's somewhat big. I guess it's okay. I got a big mouth, so I drink crazy. But it is somewhat a big hole, but I think most mouths would fit over it and drink it properly anyways. No problems. Wonderful. And obviously this one spill out. Maybe this will spill out of the hole. Let's close it back up again. See if we can reuse this. Let's say now I close it back up. I'm in my office. I, you know, serve clients and whatnot. Maybe about 20 minutes goes by. I go ahead and take this in my microwave in my office, come back, coffee's hot again, ready to go. And on the way to the microwave and back to the microwave, let's see if this resealment of this flap here is going to hold the coffee inside there or not. No, it doesn't hold it. That comes out sideways, nothing downways, nothing that way, nothing this way comes out still, but uh, it's not that much, it's just a couple of drops. But if the cup is very, very hot, I'm just gonna cut a bump for you. Yeah, let's go over to the large size now. Okay, basic same test this way, a bit better. It's got a few drops only, not, not a lot. That way, nothing, that way, nothing, that way, nothing. This is this way. Oh. Now I got some coming from the hole here. Wow. You go all the way down the hole there and it creates more of an issue. How about here? Here, no. It has more coming out of there, but there's no hole action. Whereas here, the large one, there's hole action and some from there too. Wow. So that's the difference between the, the large and the medium, that you get coffee coming out of this hole too, not just this hole. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and open it now. It's hard to open it. Push it down, it stays in the, down pretty well. In the hole, not bad, yeah. Better than some of the flat lids even do. See, it's, and it's not so tight in there, it's kind of loose, you see? Okay, this one's pretty tight. It's hard to open it back up again, without force. All right, guys, uh, this hole bigger than the other one, let's check it. I'd say it's roughly about the same hole, same mouth hole, not a big difference. Take a drink. Yeah, then he spilled out, so it's fine. Try to reseal it back up again. Let's go over now to our microwave. See what spills out, oh, spills out. But the top piece does not right now, just the bottom one. All right. So there you guys have it. Would I recommend these dome lids to everyone? Of course I would, but please, you know, yield caution. As with any coffee cup that has a lid like this, or similar like this. All right, guys, so you always don't uh, turn it that way. 
and you should be fine. So that's effectively the end of the video. This is Mr. Greek 2002. Take care. Have a good day. Please like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next upload.